This video is going to show you how you can stop updates in Windows 10 and Windows 11. This is handy if you're having problem with a particular update that's causing issues on your system. You've uninstalled it and basically it wants to reinstall itself. So this is also handy if you're trying to do something on your computer and the updates are butting in, really slowing it down as they do at times, especially if you've got a slower, older mechanical hard drive rather than SSD or an M2 drive in your computer. So like I say, we're going to have a look at how you can stop updates. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. So the first thing to try is something really simple. Just click on the start button, go to settings and then go to Windows Update and there should be an option there which says pause update. So just click on pause updates or select how many days you want to pause it for and then hopefully it should say pausing updates and after a little while it should tell you how long it's pausing the updates for there you go so it says updates paused until the 18th of the 9th 2023 well it's the 11th of the 9th 2023 so I've paused it for a week you can extend these for extra weeks if you want to just by clicking on the drop down there. So if you want to extend for up to four weeks, you can do that. But what if it won't let you pause? What if also you want to extend for longer than four weeks? Now, I should say this isn't advisable because obviously updates do help keep your computer secure, but there might be a good reason for not wanting to install updates or just to perhaps control when updates are done. So let's just close this down and let's just go into Edge or go into your browser. Go up to the address bar right at the top of the screen, delete out anything that might be in it and then you want to type in there sordum dot org. So that's sordum dot org, all in lowercase and no spaces. Pause this video if you need to copy this address down. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed in the address correctly and in the right place, you should see this screen. So if you get this consent screen come up, I'm just going to click do not consent. And I'm just going to scroll down and just have a look on the right hand side here. There's some other great apps in here as well, but just have a look on the right. And what we're looking at here is we're looking for Windows Update Blocker. So left click once on that and then scroll down. And there's a little preview of it. So easy to use. Keep scrolling down and then what we're looking for here is the download button just there. So click on download. So it says here, Windows Update Blocker should start automatically in a few seconds. If your download does not start automatically, please click the direct download link below. Well, mine has started. As we can see there, it's downloaded a file called WUB and then underscore and then the version number beside it at the moment the version is 1.8 but that may change in the future so if you are having problems downloading it just click on that direct download there once it's downloaded then just shut this up go to any yellow folder and then find your downloads folder which should be over there on the left or up there on the top doesn't matter where and then you're looking for WUB underscore and then the version number. So right click on that and then left click extract all and then left click extract. And then you should find that uh, this opens up. Just double click on WUB there and then right click on WUB X64. Now, if you've got a 32 bit system, then click on WUB just up there. But most people running Windows 10 and Windows 11, certainly Windows 11, will have a 64-bit system. Basically, try clicking on WUB X64, see if that works. If it doesn't, try the other one. So I'm just going to right click on that because we want to run this as, as, as administrator. Then move your mouse over, run as administrator, and then click the left mouse button. And then click on yes, just there. And then here we go. So it's saying here, do we want to enable the updates? They're enabled at the moment. Or do we want to disable updates? 
So let's just select disable updates and a tick has been put in protect services settings. So I'm going to keep protect services settings ticked because that means it's going to try and prevent any uncontrolled changes. So basically going to try and prevent it from Windows from enabling updates automatically. So let's click on apply now. And then it says, please wait. And hopefully within a few seconds, there you go. You've got the shield there that's gone red with the cross in it. And let's just check. So I'm just going to go to the start button there. Go to settings, go to Windows update. And let's just click on check for updates. And there you go. It says an error was encountered because we've switched off updates. So let's just close that down. If I want to turn the updates back on, then we can click on there, enable updates and then click apply now. Again, it says, please wait. And as you can see, the shield's gone green and there's a tick in it, which means that updates are back on. So let's just close this down and go and check. So let's just go back into the start button there, settings, go to Windows update and then click retry on the update and let's see what happens. So as you can see there, it's now checking for updates. This might hang here for a little while and there you go. It says you're all up to date, no error message there. There are some other options in that particular app. So let's just go back into it. Let's just run that again because I closed it down. So run as administrator, click yes. And here in menu, you've got here update options. So that just takes you to the back to the Windows update screen. If we go back into menu, then you've got the Windows update troubleshooter. If you're having problems with Windows update, that runs the official Microsoft Windows Windows update troubleshooter to repair problems with Windows updates. Um, although that's saying there that that is going to be retired soon. If we click menu again, we've got Windows services. So that takes you to a list of Windows services that are running. Go back to menu again. We've got the task scheduler. So that takes you straight into scheduled tasks there where you can add or remove tasks that are scheduled to run at certain times on the computer. You've got here service list options. These are all the other services that are running on the computer. Um, you can add extra services if you want to. Just have a look at the website, sawdum.org for more details on that. You've got a refresh button there and you've got command line info if you want to run this from the command line. You've also got different languages there so you can select your language. You can donate to the project if you want. If you find it useful, it is always advisable to make a donation because these people do this for free in their own time. You've got contact details, homepage and about there. So there you go, a great little app which can control whether or not you want to enable or disable updates very, very quickly. And if, you, if you're done with this now and you've turned your updates back on, you think, right, I'm, I'm done with this now, I don't need this anymore, then to delete it, what you do is just go into the yellow folder, go into downloads, and you should see there's two yellow folders, one with a zip through it, that's a zip file on one without, starting WUB underscore. You can delete both of these folders, so just right click on them. If you're using Windows 11, click on the bin. If you're using Windows 10, then click on delete. And there you go, off it goes. Let's do the same for that one. So again, Windows 11, it's the bin. If you're running Windows 10, it's delete and that's got rid of that. Let's close that down. And if you want to, for good measure, you can also right click on the recycle bin and then empty the recycle bin and then yes, there you go. I hope this video helped and if it did, please consider supporting this channel. Have a look in the description of this video down below. If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, we've got some links down there just for you. Buying or subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now waiting for you. Whilst you're here, hopefully you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some more time and money.